Providence Church began as a church plant with DNA to plant more churches. In 2002, a young UT student and Providence member named Victor de Cerqueda helped start a new church with the same values in his hometown of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Providence was able to identify a planting pastor and supported the church financially for their first four years. Now, as a church of over 7,000 attenders, they've planted several churches, including one in Orlando, and are supporting missionaries, including Bible translators, reaching unreached people groups. They are changing the culture of their own city and affecting lives with the gospel around the world. By God's power, through the prayer, time, and financial support of Providence Church. That's just one story. We want to see 10, 50, 100 stories just like this one unfolding because in the sovereign plan of God, Providence Church was obedient to the mission of glorifying God by making, growing, and unleashing disciples of Jesus. Imagine Providence Church as a key contributor to God's global mission of making disciples who make disciples and planting churches that plant churches. Not becoming a bigger church with better productions and more clout, but receding in our outward importance so that Jesus can be made known more, truly impacting our culture and the whole world. And that takes us, our prayers, our time, our relationships, our money. In 2014, Providence gave over $83,000 to fund missions efforts locally and globally. We also give $18,000 a year to a new church plant in Sao Paulo, Brazil. But every month, we give the same amount, $18,000 to a giant monster called debt. Right now, we owe about $1.7 million on our facility. At the current rate, we'll pay a mortgage company the equivalent of one year support to the Sao Paulo church every month until 2026. In that time, we'll also pay another $387,000 extra in interest. But what if we didn't? What if we saw a chance to be free of this monstrous obligation in one year? One year of minimizing our spending, foregoing raises for staff, and tightening our proverbial belt as a church, freeing up nearly a quarter of a million dollars a year for the mission of the church. Learning how to bring our finances under God's control as individuals and families, discovering what we can do without for the joy of what we can do. This year, the elders and staff have decreased Providence's budget as much as possible. We want to put our money where our mouth is, taking John 3.30 literally. In 2016, you'll be asked to give like never before, especially if you've never given before. Financially, yes, but also with your time, and especially with your prayer. Is God calling you to volunteer in the church, perhaps for the first time? Is He nudging you to move from simply volunteering to really leading? Can you say no to a few extra minutes of sleep every morning and say yes to a few extra minutes purposefully seeking God? Will you address your own family's financial debt this year in order to become a more engaged disciple of Jesus through your energy and resources? Will you decrease so that Jesus' message will increase through Providence Church? It won't stop with this year. What we will learn together will transform who we are as a community of disciples, and we believe that by God's power, we'll become a greater force for His mission than ever before. Who will we be when it's all said and done? Who will you be? What will God do? Imagine.